stopping by the Massachusetts Beer Review channel of YouTube. I am Thomas Meadow 75 and this is your Massachusetts Beer Review. And as you can see here today, I am going to be reviewing the iconic and the classic Amstel Light. Amstel Light, I believe, is 95 calories. And I honestly apologize. I do not have the alcohol by volume. I wish I did. I normally am better than that, so I apologize. I think it's probably 4.1 or 2 percent alcohol by volume. I will post that in this video as text. Anyways, here's what the six pack comes like. Here's what it looks like. It's got some information on the sides. This is a Dutch beer from the Netherlands. It was founded, the Amstel Brewery was founded in 1870 and at this point in time it is owned by Heineken International and I'm not sure when, but this beer became known as the official beer of the burger. They have this whole campaign, all these trucks that go around across the country serving burgers and this beer. Sure, I guess it goes together pretty well. And this was very, 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 very cold out of the fridge. I can tell you this bottle is way too cold. Look at that. <laughs> I kind of screwed up on that, but this one is uh, of liquid form, so we're going to sample that. So I've had Amstel Light many times. Actually, there's one Chinese restaurant in my town that doesn't have a good beer selection, but they always have Amstel Light. Here's the Amstel Light cap. Pretty cool. Amstel Light, there's an Amstel Light Premium, there's a Blonde, there's a Dark, I think there's some kind of uh, Shandy or something like that, or Lemon or something like that, but we only get, as far as I understand, in the United States, we only get this Amstel Light product. And they've been known as well as lots of beers in the European continent for being a lot better of quality because they don't use uh, genetically modified GMO type corns or corn syrup or whatever it is. But here's what we get out of Amstel Light. It is very, very, very golden, sort of darker than a lot of your average American adjunct type lagers. The head was not anything, even when I tilted the glass to pour it, it was not anything that substantial. But it looks the part of a nice European style lager, light lager, let's get a nose, on the Amstel. And that's what it smells like. It smells like a European style lager. There's not a lot going on because it's light beer. But what you get is a slight spiced hop variety. Sweet malts and grains. Very like fresh cut grassy notes. Some biscuity malts. And some white bread. And yeah, it smells the part of a nice lager. Sort of has that green-ish bottle scent that you can sometimes get from the yeast or the malt, but as you can tell, no green bottle. Doesn't smell skunked. Let's try it. Cheers. Am still light. Am still light is definitely tasting of the fresh cut grass, biscuity, malty variety. I'm definitely getting those sweet bready notes. And I detect some, I don't know if they're cereal, cereal grains, but there's a noticeable graininess in this beer's flavor. I don't notice any ricey notes or any 
corn type notes so that's and it being from Europe it's leading me to believe well the brand started in Europe and it's still made in Europe it's leading me to believe that Amstel Light is not using any adjuncts so it tastes that way I'd say the body of the beer is on the high side of light, but it definitely has a light body. It's got some thin, watery um, notes to it. It's extremely crisp, clean, and refreshing by, I, I, I guess I should say extremely crisp. It's, I don't feel it's overly crisp and carbonated as far as a light beer is concerned, but it's definitely clean and crisp and refreshing. As a light beer, overall as a light beer, I can't fault Amstel Light one bit. It, it, it tastes great. It's good as a light lager is concerned. Again, if I'm at a pinch at a bar and I got no clue what to get, as if that's happened, right? If I'm at again, if I'm at a pinch at a bar and I don't know what to get, and there's a Heineken or a Amstel Light or Stella, I might go for things like that. I like. I don't know if you guys have seen some of these other videos, but you would get to know that I I prefer the European style lagers. They have a little bit more of a malty taste and presence and a little bit of a hot profile and I'm getting that spicy hop cut grass sort of a taste. It's clean, it's unoffensive. It has that traditional kind of a European lager, Euro lager kind of a feel to it so if you don't already like things in those kind of lagers from Europe you might not still enjoy Amstel Light but I gotta tell you straight up to no charge to go and get yourself some Amstel Light lager from Amsterdam in the Netherlands I'm gonna give that a B plus I think this is a really exceptionally well made light lager everybody should try it to step up from the Miller Coors and Buds because I can actually taste the quality kind of ingredients that they are brewed with. So, getting a B plus from me from Massachusetts Beer Reviews. Until next time, keep tasting those great beers. Cheers. See you soon.